Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the maximum difference between the node and the ancestor problem from Lead Code. This is a Lead Code medium and the number for this is 1026. So let's start with the question. So in the given question, we are have we are having the root of a binary tree and we have to find the maximum value v, which exists in in between the different nodes a and b of the binary tree such that v is the absolute difference of the a dot val and b dot val and a is the ancestor of b so uh, we have to find two nodes in the entire binary tree such that the value of the absolute difference of their value is maximum and also one of the nodes is the ancestor of another node like uh, uh, we cannot take 1 with 14 because 1 is no, not an ancestor of 14 like an uh, the ancestor of 1 is only 3 and 8 and for 14 it is 10 and 8 and for 4 7 13 the ancestors are 6 14 10 3 8 all these are ancestors respectively so we have to check two conditions first condition is the maximum and the minimum uh, elements and also we have to keep a track that if it is a ancestor of the current node or not so the goal is to find the maximum difference uh, as i told you so we need to track the minimum and the maximum values also so the approach is like that we will be using the minimum and the maximum values to track the root nodes value and we will be traversing the tree so this tree we have we will be traversing it using a recursive approach and we will keep updating the minimum and the maximum values in each recursion call and uh, at every recursion call we'll uh, do some calculations like if uh, the current value is the maximum or not and it is ancestor or not then we can simply return that, that value otherwise we can check for greater values in uh, below the tree so at each node uh, calculation is done then we have to uh, also keep a global maximum difference if larger difference is found and we can explore the left and the right subtrees so I'll show you using an example. So we, in this example, on the left hand side we have the example and the right side we have a table. We start with 8. So the minimum and the maximum value start with 8 only and the current difference is no, not initialized and max difference is 0. Here. Now when we move to the uh, left, so the next node is 3. So the minimum value becomes 3 and the maximum is still 8 and the current difference is 5 and maximum difference is 5. Then we move left of uh, 3 we reach 1 so now the minimum value becomes 1 and the maximum was 8 so the maximum difference till now becomes 7 and because the current difference becomes 7 8 minus 1 is 7 so the maximum difference becomes 7 and then we move to the right of 6 right of 3 then we reach 6 so the difference is 2 only between the uh, maximum and the minimum and from uh, difference from 1 is 5 so that is not uh, greater than the maximum difference then we will move to the left and the right of 6 still we do not find a difference greater than the 1 and 8 so we can return from here then on reaching it we move to the right of the right subtree of the 8 node then we go to the 10 14 and 13 but when we move towards the 10 14 and 13 our minimum value will change because 1 was in the left subtree of 8 and not in the right subtree so that's why you see here when we move towards the 10 10th node this then our minimum value becomes 8 because this is because one will not be a child of 8 uh, one will not be a, a ancestor of 10 14 or 13 that's why so this is how we are going to solve let's start with the coding section but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel so if root equal equal to null then in that case can simply return 0 otherwise we have int min equal to root dot val max equal to root dot val and we'll call a, let's say a different function root and we'll pass the minimum and the maximum
and uh, this difference is not actually the function this will be defining as a global variable you can also keep a different name like answer or maximum but in in java this will work uh, but in python and c++ this this may not work like uh, keeping a variable name same as the function name and then returning the variable so while using c++ you can change the variable name to something as max or the answer so let's write the diff function as well public void diff and here we have a tree node root along with a int mean and int max here also we check root equal equal to null return and the y difference is equal to mat dot max and the difference itself compare with mat dot abs min minus root dot val so we have to compare it with uh, one more so we will pass this also in a mat dot max or mat dot abs max minus root dot val because we have to check with both the maximum side also and the minimum side also from which we can get the answer so we compare this here and the min will become mat dot min the min itself and the root dot val and similarly we have to write for max as well So this becomes max and then we have to call the difference on the left and the right so root dot left the minimum the maximum and then we need to call the difference on the root dot right the minimum and the maximum this will not return anything this has return difference and let's try to submit it for the sample test cases so the sample test cases are passed let's try to run for the hidden test cases as well so yes this passes with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity so the time complexity for this solution is o of log n o of n uh, where n is the number of nodes in the tree as we uh, reach and visit each node once and the space complexity is uh, o of h where h is the height of the tree because we need the height of the binary tree in the recursion stack so that's that what the space is you can also check the c++ python and the javascript solution by going into the solutions panel and then check this check this solution uh, this solution you can find the approach the into intuition the approach complexity java code c++ python javascript and yes do remember to afford the solution as well like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel so i hope you understood the logic and you can solve this problem very easily now thank you for watching the video have a nice day